EAFC 24 is just around the corner and that means we'll be all starting new career mode saves if you play career mode obviously but you might be struggling to choose a team that you want to do a save with well today I've got five teams that you should definitely do a save with at the start of EAFC career mode obviously you lot might not agree with some of these teams you might not want to do any of these teams so you don't have to do it but I am going to make more parts to this video, obviously, because only five teams. There's a lot more teams that would be fun to use, not just these five in the whole of the game. Starting off, we've got my beloved Aston Villa. Every year at the start of FIFA, I do a save of them. Obviously, last year, I've done my first ever one on YouTube with them. And we're going to be continuing in that this year. So make sure you like and subscribe if you want to watch that. I mean, you don't have to. But if you want to watch Aston Villa save, then I'm, I'm doing one. And I always will do one every year. Moving on from that, the reason I suggest to you you do Aston Villa is because, I mean, the squad is very interesting. And it'll be a very fun squad to use as well. Obviously, we've signed the likes of DRB, Paul Torres, Yuri Tielemans. We've got a very solid squad for career mode. That's still does need improving that you could do you could bring your own improvements in make the squad even better and one of the main factors of doing this villa career mode is obviously that we are playing in europe this season we've got the conference league so if you can win the conference league in the first season and push for the top six and then push for the top four the season after and then hopefully go on to win the champions league make villa one of the greatest sides in england once again and that's your job done really and that's why i think villa will be a very fun save for you so if you're struggling to think of a team villa could be the one Moving on to Luton Town, we're staying in England, we're staying in the Premier League. Obviously, Luton Town, like they've basically pulled off a miracle story. They've gone from like the National League to the Premier League in a space of years, like seven years or something like that. I don't think I don't know if it's seven years. It's something like that anyway. It's something crazy like that. And obviously, we've seen them play in the Prem. They don't have the strongest of squads. So if you can keep them up in the first season, build on that squad, just make them better and better, make them a stable Premier League team. Once you've done that, I mean, this could take a good few seasons, depending on what difficulty you're playing on and the transfers, the strictness, all of that type of stuff. But yeah, it could be a very fun save. It could be tough, but fun, very eventful. Because you could face the threat of relegation in the first season, obviously, because they do basically have a championship squad still, apart from some players, maybe like Nakamba, um, like Kabore, the right wing back, he's, he's decent. Maybe the striker as well, he scored a few goals, I think it's Clinton and Morris. So yeah, they have got some decent players on their team. So if you're looking for a team that you want a long save with, because even though it's the Premier League, I'd say Luton is a pretty long save, because you've got a lot of coming up to do, a lot of transfers, a lot of new players, a lot of improvement. And a lot of winning, to be honest. And it's going to be tough with that squad, especially if you're playing on the higher difficulties. But Luton is the job for you. All right, so we're moving over to Germany now with Schalke. You might remember, if you've been watching me, that we did a little series with them back in like March, February, March. It didn't last very long. It was literally like three episodes. I completely forgot about it, to be honest. But um, yeah, they went down in real life. They had a stinker of a season. And the sad thing is, they're one of the biggest clubs in Germany as well. And to see them down in the Bundesliga too. I mean, hopefully they come straight back up. But that's what you're going to job is going to be as Schalke manager, really. You're going to try and get them back into the Bundesliga, make them one of the greats again. Get them competing with Bayern Munich and Borussia Dortmund for that league title. Well, more like Bayern Munich because Dortmund bottled it last season, didn't they? But I think if you're looking for like a road to glory, I'd say this is a road to glory because they've got some work to do. They're obviously down in Bundesliga too. It's not where they want to be. So you want to get them back into the Bundesliga. I think this would be a really fun save. I could do one at one point maybe. We could make it a series. Or I might do it off camera because they do have some decent players as well that would be fun to use. And they just had to be on here. Going back to England, Wrexham, a road to glory from League Two to the Premiership. They're actually in League Two this season, so it makes it that little bit more realistic. But the only downside is, is that they don't have the cycling GK, Ben Foster. If he was in the game, I was looking forward to it, man. He had to go and retire after he conceded like 13 goals in four games. But you know what? You've got to respect the cycling GK, ain't you? But like I was saying, I think Wrexham will be a really good save. You get them back into the Premier League. It's going to be a long journey from the bottom division all the way to the top division. Eventually going to win everything with them. And last but not least, well, it could be least, depending on if I make another video on this. Depends if this one does all right. So make sure you like, subscribe, view it, share it, whatever you want to do. But we've got Sevilla. So they obviously, they're doing too well in real life at the moment. They're currently bottom of La Liga. The size of a club like Sevilla are bottom of the league of three games in or something like that, or four games in. And last season, they didn't have the greatest seasons either. I'm pretty sure they were bottom for a while, but they managed to bring it back. I think they might have finished in the top 10, but no, I think they got Europa League, actually. But yeah, these, these lot are like the Europa League kings. 
So you just want to do that with them, really. Win the Europa League with them. Avoid relegation because that it looks like they're going down at the moment after three games. Obviously, you can't call it on that. But still, they are having a stink at the moment. And I think it'd be a good save. They've got a unique squad. They got they haven't got players that you'd necessarily always use in FIFA. Obviously, they've got Sergio Ramos. He actually is a player you wouldn't always use because of pace and stuff. So, yeah, it'd be fun to use this team. Fun to use some different players, obviously, in Spain as well. Right, so that is where we're going to end this video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like and you subscribe. And I just wanted to say thanks for the crazy support we're getting on. I think on the Ever Ferguson video where we won the Ballon d'Or with him, it's got like 800 views. I got some comments on there as well, which I really appreciate. So yeah, keep up the, the, the love, I guess. Keep up the love. And we want to get to 1K eventually. I don't know how long that's going to take. We're still 600 away, but you know what? That man's got a dream. This could potentially be my last video until EAFC. I still ain't bought it yet, so I need to buy it. I think I'm getting a standard though. So he's going to have to wait a week later for the Villa career mode. But you know what? It is what it is. It's better than spending like 100 quid and just wasting it when you don't really need to do that. You can just wait. But yeah thanks for the support and i'm gonna make a video saying what i'm gonna be doing on eafc 24 i've got some big things planned so yeah i'll see you in the next video